Hi everybody, this is Sandy. I'm back from Homestead Life in Appalachia and I'm in the kitchen today. Um, during the winter time, you'll see me a lot in the kitchen. Um, that's when I have time to cook and I'm able to cook on my wood cook stove and I just love cooking on that. Um, everything just tastes so much better when it's cooked with wood. Um, if you've never tried it and you have the opportunity to do it, do it. Uh, so today I have some applesauce from last year that I am going to make an apple butter. Um, I have, I thought I was completely out of apple butter. Um, I went looking for a jar the other day. And that's Joey that you hear. Um, something ain't going right for him. But anyways, I thought I was out of apple butter. You can't have, can't have warm biscuits without apple butter. Um, so, but I did find a jar. So, I'm going to make some apple butter. My son in North Carolina loves Mama's apple butter. So, I've got eight quarts from left over from last year that I'm going to go ahead and make into apple butter today. So, let's get started. Let's adjust this camera a little bit so that you can see what is going on. Well, we're trying here. How's that? That a little bit better? Let's move this this way a little bit. There we go. Now we're cooking with grease, aren't we? So, I already put about a cup of brown sugar in here. I'm going to put just a little bit of vanilla. And yeah, it's imitation vanilla. I, didn't, I ran out of the regular stuff and I just keep... I just keep it on hand in case I run run out of the good stuff. Alright, and I'm going to put a little bit of powdered cinnamon in it. That's probably about a half a teaspoon there. And uh, I'm going to use my Wagner Magnolite small roaster. Um, I don't know how many quarts are going to fit, so we will find out. Let's see. Let me get my little can opener here. You know what I didn't get? I didn't get a spoon. <laughs> All right. Smells good. I make it a habit of smelling every jar that I open. Just to make sure the seal hadn't gone bad. Which I've never had one go bad in applesauce. Now beans on the other hand. Yep. I've had those pop before. Here on our farm we can. Almost everything. We live in a tiny house, so there's not much room. And with us being on solar, you know, we don't run an air conditioner very often during the summer. We can run one. We run one during the hottest part of the summer at night, just so we can sleep a little bit better. And we use, if we don't have enough solar power for that day to run it, because it does take up a lot of electricity, we'll use our generator. And we just leave it on for a couple hours while we're, while we're in here, cooling off from being outside. And then at nighttime, we have our fans that take very little power. They're the car fans that you can plug into your cigarette lighter. I know most cars don't have cigarette lighters in them anymore. They have a... A port, I guess you would call it. That looks like a place for a cigarette lighter. That makes two quarts. And Joey is full of himself today. This makes three quarts. Let me call. Mm -mm. Smells yummy. 
Does yeah. it smell good, Joey? Yeah. Yeah. And yuck. Yuck. Oh, I see you. You must be happy. No. Are you? Okay, Mommy's doing a video, okay? This makes quart number four here. I can't wait till this gets warm and the smell starts going throughout the whole cabin. Pick me, pick me, pick, 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 pick me. No, we're not going to go pick up Granny right now. Lay a little bit. Yeah. Lay you. Yes, later. Okay. This takes number five. I'm opening them up as as I pour each one because I don't want to open them all and not have room for it all. Money. Cut that more. Cut that. Yes, Joey, calm down. Can you stay out of the refrigerator, please? Money. Close it. Thank you. Funny? No, it's not funny. <laughs> I know you think it is, but it's not. No? Yeah? Tell mommy. Joey's wanting to take off with all my stuff. Go lay down. Leave my cappuccino alone. Goofball. Goofball. That's mine. Goofball. Oh, goodness. I think this might be the last quart that I can do. I don't know. We'll have to see. Because I still need to add a little bit of apple juice to it. Because my applesauce is so thick right now. <laughs> now, I'm going to put this in the oven. In my wood stove. <laughs> Can y'all believe this weather? I don't know where you're at, but where I'm at, here in West Virginia, it's usually cold <laughs> out. But it's not cold right now. Looks like all I'm going to be able to do is seven quarts in it. So, let's put some apple juice in it, if I can get this open. The arthritis in my hands is not cooperating with me today. So, I might have to put water. Joey, can you open this for Mommy? Can you get it? You can get it. Hip. You can do it. Hip. Come on. You can do it. Hip. Well, don't get mad. There you go. You getting it? Hip. You getting it? Hip. Okay. <laughs> there. I got it. He uh -huh. loosened it up for me. Huh, Joey? Yeah? Yeah. I'm just going to pour some in it because it'll cook out. Do you want pick me? Okay. Go on. Lay. Go on. Lay. Come on, me. No, but anyways, it has been so warm outside. I mean, like 60 degrees warm. <laughs> but we got to have the wood stove going at night because it's getting down to about freezing, sometimes a little bit lower. So I'm just keeping it going on low during the day. If you don't know how to keep a wood stove on low, you just add a piece, one piece of wood every now and then. Just enough to keep some coals in there. Then you don't have to light it back up all the time. I know some people disagree with me, but that's okay too. Everybody has their own opinion on how they do stuff. Oh, look at that. It already looks good. Just trying to make sure I've got it all mixed up really good. Yep, and I don't. There's some more sugar right there. Joey, please leave the refrigerator alone. Go. He's trying my patience today, y'all. 
our preacher tells me never pay for pray for patience, so I don't. I pray for strength. And today's one of them days. I need strength. Mm -hmm. Because of where we live, we don't get any help with Joey. We don't get any respite or anything like that. And there's no day hab training programs for him out here. He is 28 years old. And mentally, he's about three or four years old. Yes, Joey. Okay, can you go? I'm making a video right now. All right. I think I got it all mixed up good. All right. So, I'll be right back. I'm going to get it ready to go into the oven and turn the camera around so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay. So, let's get it in the oven. Oh, my goodness. This thing is heavy. Whew. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to let it cook. I'm going to leave a little crack in my oven because it's really hot in there, and I don't want it to cook too fast. Okay, so now that it's in the oven, we're going to leave it alone for a, for a while. Um, it shouldn't be too, too hot in there. Um, yeah, I just have coals in my firebox. Um, so we're going to leave it alone, let it set, let it cook down some. And I'll bring you back when we get ready to stir it. I'll take it out and put it on top of the stove so that you can see what it looks like. And let's hope it turns out right. All right. See you in a bit. Okay. So our apple butter is done. It's the next morning. Um, my stove was really, really um, cool yesterday because it was so warm outside. I didn't want to make it too hot in here. So I let it cook all day long and all night. And as you can see, it's got a really dark, dark brown color. And oh my gosh, if this was Smell-O-Vision, it smells so good. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. We would love for you to like it, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel. And have a Merry Christmas.